Welcome back to another Adder Infusion blog. My name is Adam Danes, and today I want to talk to you about performance improvement plans, otherwise known as PIPs. It may seem like an unusual topic right now, given that everything's going on, uh, but I really wanted to talk to you about it because it's come up across my desk in the last couple of weeks about the use of PIPs. Now, I personally hate PIPs. Every time I'm involved with them, it makes me cringe. And I honestly believe they do not work. I've only ever seen them used in two instances. And this is why I call them the people irritation plans. Is because one, management cannot effectively manage performance within the organization. They're not having uh, conversations on coaching and development ones. The training is inadequate and they're not helping provide the right tools for the people. They actively don't want to have the difficult conversations and sit down and partner with the person and they hide behind a PIP and the HR process. That's when I've seen them used. And then the second time I've seen them used is to effectively manage someone out of the organization. They don't have enough documentation. They perceive to be enough to let someone go. So they go through the process of a PIP to gather information and documentation against the employee to release them. So if you do get to this and you sit down with the employee, do you really think that they think you have their best interest at heart? You've gotten to a pit, you've threatened their job and telling them all the things that are wrong with what they're doing right now. Do you really think they want to partner with you to turn this around and solve out the performance? They're going to nod their head, give you lip service, but the trust is broken. They no longer trust you and they don't trust the organization. A performance conversation should never be a surprise. It's not a good surprise. No one likes those surprises. It's like someone jumping out the closet and scaring you. Your heart rates up, you're in shock, you're angry, and you're not sure, you're a bit confused, you're not sure what to do next. This is not the situation for optimum performance and helping someone turn around their performance management and improve within the company. Now, as I said, some people may disagree with me. Um, you know, I've used a PIP, my company has, it helped turn around. Absolutely, I'm sure that there are cases out there where it's been used, but people also win the lottery. I'm not, I'm just, what I'm saying is, is it's not the best way to manage performance. The best way to manage performance is by not managing performance with fear. A PIP installs fear in someone, and that is not an effective way to manage performance. Having continuous conversations about their performance with the manager built on trust and open communication and setting bite-sized goals and targets and helping them achieve over time what their perceived shortcomings are within their role within the organization. That is a much better way to do it. They feel that you're investing in them and you wanna help them achieve what they have to do in order to stay within the organization. That not only breeds loyalty, but also improves your reputation as an employer. Also, the second option that with the continuous feedback, it's gonna have a better chance of success of turning around performance. And not only that, if it doesn't resolve the issues as you go through, it becomes blatantly clear to both parties that this may not be the opportunity for them. And over the course of helping them grow and develop on this improvement plan, this performance, you've gathered the documentation enough to make an exit and feel comfortable about it. So in summary, what I'm saying is a PIP is a tool based on fear and it doesn't help anyone. It's not the best tool out there for this. Developing a performance management plan that encompasses a two-way conversation and trust on developing the employee is gonna be a much better way to improve the performance within your organization, but also help improve your employer brand for when you're actually going to do recruiting and acquisition as well. Well, I just wanted to talk about that because it's come up and a lot of people have asked me about developing a PIP, developing a PIP writing a PIP, and how best to manage it. And I always tell everyone, don't do it. Develop a performance management system that actually has this built into it and that will be your best option. Because throwing people on pips does not help, they check out, and also it damages your reputation. So if you have any questions about this, please do reach out to me uh, at adderinfusion.com and I'll do my best to answer any questions. Again, uh, stay safe during this time, and I look forward to speaking to you soon. Bye-bye.